Hello, everybody. Andrea here. It's that time of year again where your number may have been picked by the CDHO to be audited. And I get a lot of questions of, you know, Andrea, help me. Should I be taking this quality assurance exam or should I be doing my portfolio? So only you really know the answer to that. It depends on what you're most prepared for. If you're not prepared for anything, then let me kind of help you pick and choose which one might be better for you. So I tell people, if you don't mind taking an exam and you don't mind paying for the exam, there is a cost, then try the exam first because all you have to do is study for it. But that might be easier said than done for some people. If you get super nervous for exams, then the exam might not be the way to go. They do say you should study at least 75 hours worth for this exam. I have a lot of dental hygienists say they didn't study at all and they passed. I have others say that they studied forever and didn't pass. So everybody is different, but I do offer help for the exam. If you need it, I will leave the link for you guys down below in the comments. Have a look. I do offer help for the exam so you know what to study for. Nothing more and nothing less, meaning the exam isn't like the board exam. You don't have to study like you're studying for the board exam. Again, thank goodness, but you do still have to study. If you don't study, you're going to fail, okay? Trust me, it's, it's not as easy as people think, but it's also not as hard as people think. But then what about the portfolio? Should, is the portfolio a better way to go for you? So if you've been organized and keeping track of your continuing education, who does, even I have a hard time being organized, then maybe the portfolio is better for you. Um, you don't have to take an exam. You just have to take into account your hours for the past three years. If you haven't been keeping up with continuing education, then you're going to have to do all 75 hours this year. So is that possible for you? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's hard to say, right? So you need to take that into account. But whether you do the exam or the portfolio, you do need to also do your practice profile. That is basically saying what you're doing in your office. Even if you're working for different offices, you're temping or like three different offices full time, you know, part time. Um, you need to write down what you're doing for your practice profile. So what you're doing for those offices, the dental unit waterline testing, how are you sterilizing, those types of things. Um, definitely check out my YouTube um, channel where I do offer a lot of help for the quality assurance exam and your practice profile too. I can also leave some links here down below if you need help of where to kind of go for that. If you guys have any questions, let me know, but just kind of as a recap. So if you've been audited, you have the option of either doing the portfolio or the quality assurance exam. For either option though, you do need to also submit your practice profile. Now, depending on if you were inactive and now you are reactivated, depending on how many years you were inactive for, you might have other options. Um, you might also have to do an on-site um, assessment. So if you're not sure what your options are, you would have been sent a letter. If you're not sure, feel free to send me the letter and I can look at that for you. Okay, so you have options. Let me know though, you guys, if you have any questions, I am very happy to help. I know it's a very stressful time, but I am happy to help. Okay, so let me know anytime. I will leave my email as well for you guys down below. So have a look and I'll talk to everybody soon. Good luck and we will talk soon. Bye for now.